Yeah. Okay. okay. Right? Okay. Yeah, that's it. And we're here. <laughs> and we're now. A, B, C, D. Keanu, what a pleasure to be speaking to you about your well-deserved induction into Canada's Walk of Fame. Thank I you. loved your genuine reaction video. I'm going to quote you if I may. Okay. My palms are sweaty, my heart's beating, and frankly, I'm overwhelmed. Yes. What does this honor represent to you? Yeah, the, I guess the reason I felt like that was to be have a kind of national recognition mm -hmm. and just to know, I don't know, where I came from and what happened and then to start there and be here and, uh, is very good, surreal, and, and just that, overwhelming, just to uh, have that honor. Yeah, I guess just that it's Canada's walk of fame. I mean, Start. That's, yeah, <laughs> and starts. just uh, what an extraordinary thing. Just honored and grateful. Congratulations. Thank you. And you mentioned it being a great honor, and the great Carrie Ann Moss will be mm. doing your induction speech. Yeah. What does it mean to have her part of this? Gosh, well, I mean, she's such a beautiful spirit, mm -hmm. and she and I have been in the kind of creative cauldron making the Matrix films. You know, we spent so much time together personally and creatively, and we started with the training and then go, going through the filming and then to play those two characters who are so connected. And so to have her friendship, to have that creative partner through these films and, and through our lives while we were making them is something very special and to be able to enter into this arena mm -hmm. to have someone who I respect so much, you know, kind of present this know, occasion. Yeah, it is a special occasion, a big occasion. Absolutely. You've said that when you were 15, that's kind of when you really leaned into acting. Yeah, 15 is when I, supposedly the story goes, that's when my, <laughs> I went up to my mother and said, is it okay if I'm an actor? Oh. And she was like, whatever you want, darling. So thanks, Mom. <laughs> it's really where I declared, you know, that I had a, you know, I, I loved movies and wanted to act and was in school and, you know, you're doing Shakespeare and playing theater games and stuff and I just loved it, you know, and so it's really, Really, from then, I was dedicated to, to the craft of acting and, and trying to, to do it. You know? And it's one thing when you are super young, because you're still young, and you I'm are- I'm young old. <laughs> you're engaging in your craft. I'm 57, yeah. <laughs> Only as, as old as you feel. When you're engaging That's in your craft- That's not true, by the way. <laughs> what sustains that enthusiasm for your craft today? Yeah, I think this, where it started is where it is now. And, you know, the idea of play, the idea of telling a story, the idea of inhabiting a character, and the collaboration that you hope can entertain and that you hope people can take something away with. I still love acting as much as I did when I was doe-eyed, you know, just trying to do it. Now I'm a little bit of a salty veteran, but uh, I still love it. Over the past few years, we've seen you reprise some of your iconic roles and iconic films, Ted, in Bill and Ted Face the Music, and we're anxiously awaiting The Matrix Resurrections, Can't Wait, and of course, Thanks. more John Wick. So what is it about these characters' legacies that seem so rich to revisit? Well, they're fun. <laughs> that word is kind of so, short but it's such a uh impactful yeah i mean it's kind of like some of the best things that we can feel and hope for and to do and they're rich characters they all are kind of searching for something they're all trying to move or change in the world or circumstances that they're in you know even bill and ted and ted theodore logan or <laughs> certainly thomas anderson and the character john wick and i'm really grateful that with the filmmakers and artists that I've worked with and that the audience has enjoyed those films to really give all of us involved the opportunity to continue telling these stories and these characters. You know. Sitting in the Matrix, you know, the Matrix has inspired so much when it comes to pop culture, stunts and, and special effects and storytelling. And your stunt double, Chad, went on to direct and craft 
John Wick movies and eventually inspired Halle Berry to direct her first feature Halle film. Halle Berry. <laughs> So A rocker. Right. Icon. Icon. When you first met Chad and that partnership was first bonding, did you realize how special this relationship would become? We met during training for the first Matrix. So it's 97, 98. And we both kind of went to the Wachowski mm. film school. I had done a couple of action films before then, but the relationship that I had with Chad and with the character, Neo, one thing that the Wachowskis really wanted us to do, and it's something that was kind of vanguard at the time, was having actors train for a few months before going to film. And the reason to do that was that so that you could be, you could inhabit the character in the action and then kind of bring the action and the drama of the character to the audience, you know, you could bring them along. You didn't have to cut away. And so, you know, he really helped me with some of the wire work. And then also, he paid such attention to how I moved and how the, who the character was, that through the training and then through filming, we were kind of working on the role physically together. And I had never had that experience with a stunt double before, and it was unique. Chad, after finishing <laughs> Wachowski Film School, <laughs> part one, went on to direct Second Unit and start his own action design company with his partner at the time, David Leach, and continued that idea of action storytelling with the character and training. It's been really amazing for me to be able to have such a collaborative partnership. Somebody, uh, somebody else very special to you. It was so great to see yourself and your mother, costume designer Patricia Taylor, at the Oscars recently. Yeah. What does she think about all your success in Hollywood? I think she's happy for me. It goes along to what she was saying, you know, whatever makes you happy, darling, yeah. you know? She's happy that I could pursue and have a career. So I think she's happy for me. I know she's happy. <laughs> Her reaction to you, get, you getting a star on Canada's Walk of Fame? Yeah, she was like, it was kind of like, oh my. Mm. It's something that you can't even think of or hope for or dream for, you know? And so to have that recognition and honor, she's very proud of.